So it's the January deadline day and Derby County are still top of the league, but there is some bad news. So let's dive in to the game and you'll see here that, um, yeah, we've got some rumours going on. Players in, players out. Uh, a lot of them are far too expensive. So uh, Dennis Serkin, whilst I'd love to sign him from Sunderland, he was amazing for me in the Sunderland save. Uh, we don't have £4.1 million to spend unless we sell, and at the moment we're not doing that. Ben Davies, a £1.5 million centre-back from Liverpool, who they bought from Preston, I want to say it was. Yeah, Preston. Um, he's done well in the Championship. I'd love to have him, but I don't see it happening because he's on thirty grand a week. I think if we say, what do they want on a loan? Now, see, we could afford fifteen grand a week loan. And he, oh, we do sort of need centre backs. They are getting quite unfit quite a lot of the time. Um, and we've our scouts have found Altai Ozcan, who looks like he could have something about him. So I don't think he's going to get a work permit. But hopefully he'll agree to join without a work permit, and then we can maybe send him out on a few loans to try and get um, a, a work permit in another country. Or we'll just keep him in our reserves until he's old enough to play, basically, uh, if he looks like he's got potential. But for Cray, I thought it might be worth it to be honest. So yeah, we do have this 7.1 million, but I'm still not. We're still doing the net spend thing, so it's not going to happen. However, bad news. The bad news, right? The really bad news is that Charlie Musonda's leaving on a free. He wouldn't agree a new contract with us. He wanted £35,000 a week. I said no. Um, so he's joining Getafe on sixteen grand a week. He's doubling his wage. He's moving to Getafe, and he'll be there at the end of the season. We're going to keep playing him. Normally, I just drop people that say they don't want to be here and they're leaving, but he's actually playing really well. He is happy at the club. He just We just couldn't afford to pay him what he wants. I think he'll nosedive off a cliff at Getafe. I don't think he'll be able to keep up his performances. So... Yeah, um, other than that, I think I found the reason why our players are always unfit. It's because in our staff, we didn't have any senior fitness coaches. Uh, a little bit of an oversight on my part, obviously. We didn't have any senior fitness coaches, so uh, I was leading the fitness training, which is not my forte. I could not have fitness training 10. Uh, but yeah, so we've gone out and rectified that. We've brought in Robin Thorpe, who's this guy, Fitness 17, and uh, pretty much decent attributes and everything you need elsewhere. And we've brought in Les Jellies as well. I don't know how you pronounce that name. But hopefully, this is now going to make our players have slightly better fitness after and before matches. Uh, the under-23s was doing it with me, and as you can see, he's not amazingly brilliant. But uh, yes, I'm hoping now, they have only just joined the club, so I'm hoping... That that is going to solve our massive player fitness issues. Because we haven't really strengthened so far in the window. If we go and have a look at the transfer history. Um, Jake Vokins obviously we knew was joining for £12,000. We bought in Pape Matasar, which is probably one of the best players we could have bought in on a loan. We're playing eleven point five grand a week to bring him in. But absolute class in midfield. He's going to be in there giving us another option in central midfield. Which is amazing. So Pape Matasar is in. And then we've bought in a player whose name I screw myself over sometimes, don't I? Because why I've brought this guy in, obviously he looks pretty decent. He's going to play pretty well for us, I think. But Thanawat Sunjintawan, Tawan, Sunjintawan, I think it would be actually. Sunjintawan, Sunjintawan. I think is what it's going to be. Anyway, a Thai international joins us from Leicester on loan. Two appearances, one assist, 6.75 so far. He's got Mansfield sniffing around him, but... I think if we can just get him playing a little bit here and there, I think he'll be pretty useful for us as a, an option as well. Uh, on the outs, so Leonardo Ujoa has made his move £20,000 back to Argentina to play for Chacharitas Juniors. Uh, we've sent Isaac Hutchin, Mark Badel, uh, Bardell and Will Growl Pollard all out on loan for loan fees. Tyree Wilson has joined Luton Town for £70,000. I just thought... We, he was never predicted to be anything special for us, so I thought we'll take some money and run. We've got a sell-on fee for him as well, so that's neither here. And we've let Riley Maloney join Scarborough Athletic on a free transfer because he was literally going to amount to nothing. No offence, Riley, if you're watching. I'm sure your career will be much better. But we have technically spent £12.25,000. We have 3.4 of our net spend FC we're allowed to spend, which, if we do the rough maths, it's £3.2 Roughly. 3.3 million, 3.2 million. Um, so we could be busy today, but I'm not overly sure because we've actually been calling up some youngsters who have been doing pretty well. And if we look at the competitions, we're still top. We are two points clear now of Ipswich and uh, Sheffield Wednesday have dropped off a little bit. But yeah, we've been playing 
really well. We've got Liverpool at Bride Park in the fourth round of the FA Cup. We got knocked out by Aston Villa in the Carabao Cup, and we are through to the Papa John's Trophy semi-final against Chelsea, which is very, very good, to be honest. It's a competition I lost interest in until we were in the sort of main areas, and we've just beat Man City 4-1 in the quarterfinals, which is amazing. We drew 1-1 with Bolton. We beat Exeter 4-1, Portsmouth 1-0, Morecambe 4-0. Uh, we beat Brighton 4-3 in extra time in the FA Cup third round. And, uh, yeah, we've been we've been, just been on a good roll. It's just been ticking over very nicely. We're on. We're just getting to the end of January, and we see if I can find it. we got a news item saying um, Derby are like... There, this one here. Derby County is set for record ever points haul. I was like, okay, whatever. I mean, we're only in January, so I'd assume we're going to beat 85. But, uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see but it is transfer deadline day we do have a day uh, game taking part uh, today as well so we'll see how that goes but yeah this is a guy that has been linked to us quite heavily is uh, Placetta who could be a replacement for Charlie Musonda although he's not an inverted winger his right foot is really really weak so he would lead to a change of system but overall I'm not too sure I'm quite tempted Ben Davies in on loan as another centre-back option would be quite useful. Centre-back is where we're weak in terms of youngsters. So it would allow us to send Solomon back down to the under-23s. He'd get pretty more, get much more game time down there. But yeah, he's never he's only played once for us in the league. Two overall. So he's played one in the cup, one in the league and not done badly. So maybe I'm overlooking the youngsters a little bit. I think we've maxed out loans as well. We've got, we can play five at a time. And at the moment in the club, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven at the club. So maybe loans aren't the way to go. I'll have a little sniff around, see if we find any bargains. And uh, we'll be back if there's any news. Okay, so we've got two offers out. One of them is Freddie Woodman, which I'm quite excited about as a goalkeeper. Ryan Allsop's, he's getting on a bit. He's not the best. And... Freddie Woodman could come in as a young goalkeeper that could say at Derby, 25 years old, 245k, already comes in to be better than Allsop. It would give us two good options. Again, allow Casper to play some um, youth football. It's just, will he be an important player? That's the that's the interesting one. If we can get him to be like squad, uh, if we can agree to cup. Okay, he's happy to agree to cup goalkeeper, which means if he becomes first choice then it's even better. It'll make it a bit harder renegotiating a contract. I mean, if we get six million for you, mate, you can go. That's fine. Eight grand, six... Okay, let's go six million, and we'll go, like, nine? Nine grand? I think that's fine. We've got we've got wages to play with, so let's go 9.25, 10.25, nine and a half. Come on. Come on, Freddie. There we go. Freddie Woodman, I think, is going to be in the van. The other one is the left winger. I'm, I'm trusting my scouts here, right? Um, Placetta, we're going to go with, although that L, I should know how to say that. My Polish friend always helps me out with Polish pronunciations, but I think it's Przelszlau, no, because that L, I don't, I don't know, Placetta. We're going to call him Placetta, I tried. Um, our scouts, yeah, are raving about him, so I think we sort of take the punt and try to bring him in again. Squad player. He's happy to be a squad player. He gives us an option to mix it up and put a proper left winger on as well rather than an inside forward. So I think we try and negotiate a little bit here. I don't want you getting a huge pay bump. <sighs> See, that's not enough, is it? Let's go for a million. We're paying like, what, 400k, I think? In fact, we're going to go 1.5 in there and we may have to bump up his, yes, I thought we might have to bump up his salary if we're doing that. So we'll go 8.5. Yeah, he's happy with that. Okay. So potentially two new signings are joining all well within the monetary budgets, which is really, really good. We've had uh, Deji Eloeri. No, no, thank you. I don't think that's brilliant. Uh, anyone attacked? So Agatsi has got loan interest from Bradford and Northampton. We've got a few players expiring, and quite a lot of them don't really want to... Um, uh, a few, yeah, like um, Jason Knight, absolutely no interest in signing a new contract, so we might look to move him on. Um, Ebersole, no interest in signing a new contract. I think he will if we get promoted. Like, once it's, a lot of them have already started, like, backing off to say, oh, you know, we're cl cl clearly getting promoted, so I'm happy to stay at the club. So it'll be interesting. Oh, Wigan, bugger off. Bugger off, Wigan. Maybe I should change his contract and say, lots of people have been in for this Robinson guy, and I keep rejecting them, so he's not going anywhere. I'm just wondering if, do we now change Woodman's contract to say first choice goalkeeper hmm 
In the championship, 7.33 on loan. So he's clearly got something about him. Uh, he, like, he probably would be, wouldn't he? He probably would be our first choice goalkeeper. <sighs> what do they say here? Well below value, spirited, new signing philosophy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all. That's fine. <laughs> he does come in better rated than Allsop. So let's compare Derby County, Ryan Allsop. Okay, there's a few things we don't know, but in terms of aerial, he's worse, and in terms of comms, he's worse, and in terms of distribution, he's worse. So, hmm. I mean, yeah, 8 to 12, 13 is better, better, so he could be just the same as composure. Concentration's much higher. He's got more flair. They're both 6 foot 2. They both weigh pretty similar. Uh, acceleration also has it. As a 30 year old, he's a bit of a. Well, could have, could have it. Agility, Woodman's much better. Jumping reach, Woodman is probably going to be better. 14 to 18 against 14. Throwing he's better. Reflexes he probably going to be the same. Punding tendencies he's slightly better. One-on-ones he's probably going to be better. Handling he's better. Kicking he's worse. Command of area he's worse. Aerial reach he's worse. I think we're going to leave it and just say, Freddy, make up your mind. And if you want to come, then we'll, we'll still be very happy to have you, to be honest. Right, uh, do we try and sell Jason Knight because he doesn't want to sign a new contract? I mean, let's offer him out at like 9 million. I don't think anyone's going to bite at that, but we'll try that. And I think, we get, annoyingly, we're going to have to do the same with um, Fetzi Abasole as well. Because if they're not signing new contracts, yeah, I thought he would go to Wigan. So he's moved to Wigan as, can we see uh, Can we see what he's on at Wigan? 10.75, so not too much difference in terms of what we were paying him. And, yeah, we can't see what he's going to be. I imagine he's going to be their first choice goal. Placetta is going to join, though. So we've got one of the two in, which is good. 11 hours to go. Let's, uh, let's just see what's happening here. Derby sign, Placetta. Okay, good leading EFL Championship player. So should absolutely rip up the... Uh, should be absolutely ripping up League One, which is good. It's sort of prepping us for next season as well. So we'll get him in. Uh, we'll give you a squad number. We'll give you 33. I know. It's, I mean, that. look how many youngsters I've been playing. Like, we've got numbers going all the way down to 33. So it's pretty... It's been pretty youngster intense this season. Uh, no offers for either player. That's fine. Agent offers. We've got a few coming in. Yeah, okay. I'll have a look to see if there's any more see if there's any more deals and uh, we'll be back. Okay, so we have bought in Alte Ozcan. Uh, he's not got a work permit, but I think if we... I can't remember how long we've got to keep him here to get one, to get nationality. It's quite a long time. It's like four years or something. But I feel like there is something potentially there. He's a quick, young striker, decent finishing. He might not amount to anything, but I sort of feel like it's worth it's worth a shot. And then, you know, we'll look to loan him out if, if needs be or maybe get some more money on him. Who knows? But um, all in all... It's pretty quiet. Not not much is happening. There aren't too many bargains out there. We'll, we'll wait and see. Okay, so we've found another goalkeeper. And the only stumbling block, I think, is going to be his wage. He's on 25 grand a week at the moment. But Bailey Peacock Farrell, as a backup, which is what he wants to come in as, looks good. However, yeah, he's going to be looking for a very lucrative wage, which is a little bit irritating. Yeah, I mean, that's huge for a backup goalkeeper. I mean, like, you need to be looking around about eight to nine, mate. So, yeah, you need to you need to lower your expectations here, Bailey. No, I mean, walk away. I'm not I'm not even negotiating with him. We've had a few bids in with some other people as well. I was thinking about Jay Rodriguez, but at 33 wanted a two year contract. So, no, I don't think that's going to happen. If I tell you what, if he says he's going to move and play for them for less than 10 grand, I'm going to be well pissed off because Plymouth are not very good. They're in the championship, but they're not very good. They're not very good. Really, I, f I just keep looking at players and think, oh, they're just going to get in the way of our youngsters. Like, they're going to get in the way of me being able to try and bring through these young players. Like, Jack Stretton has been bloody brilliant when he's had the chance. Four goals in nine games. 7.01. He's... Th these players, the loanees, I don't mind bringing in, right? Because it's worked with Miguel Aziz. We've brought them in, make it a permanent signing. Um, it could happen with the Thai guy. It could happen with Asviedo. Uh, I'd love it to happen with Brian O'Dai. I just think he's going to be a bit too a bit too expensive for us. If we just ask and say we'd be keen, he's not interested in signing for Derby at the moment. So he's happy to be on loan and, and get the goals and get the rating up. But yeah, at the moment, it's proving pretty difficult to sort of attract the real people we need and I'm sort of hoping that with the the new fitness coaches we've got in, it's going to solve the issue of everyone needing breaks all the time. Like the fitness coaches will actually be done properly um, and the players will generally perform better. As uh, Peacock Farrell has gone on loan to Astana. Wow, I did not see that coming. He's gone on loan to Astana in Kazakhstan. Unbelievable. That is, um, that's bizarre. 
That is a little bit bizarre. It really, really is. Now, the other option was to go for Bazuno. Um, this isn't Bazuno, I know that. But Bazuno's gone on loan to Huddersfield, so I couldn't get him in. But to be fair, Ryan Allslop hasn't done anything bad. He hasn't done anything bad yet. He's just a... Uh, He's just 30, and I think next season in the championship, he's not going to be a championship-level goalkeeper, but we'll see how it goes. We are building up a good young team, which is something we really should be uh, be keen on, and I really do need to really think about these contracts. Now, Ebersole, if we take this off, what is it saying is your actual... Yeah, two point, do we want 2.2 million for Festi Ebersole if he's not going to sign a new contract, which he's not doing at the moment? Let's see if we can get... Because then it's more money for us to reinvest in the club, isn't it? Let's see if anyone will bite at like 2.2, which is the top end of his value. We'll do the same with Jason Knight as well. Uh, let's take this off. These are the We agreed the 9 million and the 7 million fee. Yeah, 1.4 is uh, really not that good. Someone did say to me you need to play him more, but I'm not going to play him if he doesn't want to sign a contract. Charlie Musonda is a different breed in League One. Jason Knight's got a lot of competition for places. So three hours to go. We've got a game. We'll be back. Uh, we're not going to show the Fleetwood game because I think this is going to be quite a long episode anyway. So um, I'll just play this off camera and uh, then we'll be back. So a pretty comfortable 2-1 win against Fleetwood. Jack Stretton, we, we played really well. Stretton winning it for us for 10 minutes to go. And as I said, he's, he's scoring goals. He's playing on the left-hand side sort of when Musonda's not fit. And uh, uh, it's someone that I think... His, his attributes aren't amazing, but if we can keep giving him game time, there's chance he might reach some of this really high potential. He does have this promise of selling if it's £3 million bid is received. Um, he's also not keen to talk to us, but I think if we can secure promotion, a lot of these players will turn around and say, yeah, I'm happy to I'm happy to talk. It's not a problem. So, yeah, 2-1 win. Um, no offers at the moment. Uh, some more agent offers, which are, you know, these sort of young players, I'm... I'm keen to have a look at them and see what they've got. Logan Pyatt, left back. He's not that highly rated. Uh, Brecken could be an interesting one. He is highly rated by Man City. But, uh, yeah, and again, this is what we look at this. Vasil Evan, Deshaun Bernard could do with a rest. Well, you're not going to get any rest. One hour to go. I don't think we're going to push anything over the line. So I think that could be the end of the transfer window. Um, yeah, there's not really much that you can take here and I didn't want to have a big overhaul but in Gary Cahill still playing bloody hell look in terms of sort of what we're looking for anyone we bring in is just going to get in the way of the youth players we've got which is not what I want to do I do want to bring through players and sell them for loads of money so we can go and strengthen the team or just bring through different sort of players I mean this guy Michael Helik was one I was looking at Helik from Poland he looks pretty good as a centre-back option. His contract's expiring. We can probably get him relatively cheap. 975k. It's not that cheap. It's really not that cheap. Because the other thing is, remember, free transfers could be huge for us if we're going to have a big wage budget um, and, and be limited by transfer fees. But overall, I don't think we can be disappointed with how today's gone. I don't... I don't <sighs> There's, there's part of me that is sort of like we probably should be investing a bit more. Bradley Dack would be huge signing for us. It would be absolutely amazing. 29 years old, clearly a very good player. He is transfer listed, but it's what, 3.9? 3.7 million. And I don't think our net spend FC is going to stretch that because we've only made 3.4. So we've got 3 million-ish, 2.9 left to spend after we've bought in Placetta and Altai Ozcan on deadline day. So I think we will leave it there. I think we will. Um, we've got a few agent offers coming in again. Lots of youngsters from uh, Premier League teams, which is understandable. Probably how it would happen in real life, I imagine, trying to get loans out and stuff like that. Actually, quite a lot of youngsters there. And then the interest. Yeah, Gatsy's the only one, but I, I would reject a loan because I want to keep him in and around the first team anyway. So, yeah, we're going to have to keep an eye on these transfers. That's probably going to be coming up in a future episode. But we'll tick through to the end of deadline day where we did get the win which is important as well, isn't it? So we'll send the assistant to that. Um, Ebisole and Jason Knight not attracting any offers. Con Connor Dixon's definitely not leaving. He's another one that stepped up well from the youth team. Um, and that's it. I mean, a quick dive into the youth team. Players we've been calling up sort of semi-regularly. If we just clear uh, clear this 
team off. So Marko Borkovic has played a couple of times for us. One in the league and he scored. Um, he, he's been doing pretty much okay when we've called him up, Marko Borkovic. He's been on the bench a couple of times. Javier Simons is probably a bit disappointed. He's not. He's only played once as well. 7.4 though. He did pretty well. Um, Harrison Falks has been on the bench quite a lot. The left backs, Kelly Capriani, uh, Gruel Pollard have been on the bench before we got Jake Sason Folks in. Um, and then, yeah, Connor Dixon is probably one of the ones that's been called up the most. A cup appearance, a sub appearance in the league, two sub appearances for the senior team. But there is, there does seem to be some good potential in, in Derby. There does seem to be a good potential in there. So there we go. Done deals. The deadline day's gone. Um, this is ins. We got Placetta, Saar, and Sunga Chitawan in on loan. I think I've nailed that name. I think you'll never hear me say that name again. That was so good. Uh, Hutchinson, Pollard, and uh, Tyree Wilson left as well. So we did spend more than we got in on deadline day, but well under our limit in terms of net spend FC, which is good. Uh, 3.4 million we've acquired so far and 450 K. So, I think what we can do is, do we keep it as a running total, or do we say that every season I can only spend what I sell that season? Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. But, we will leave it there. Apologies there was no gameplay today. Um, I just don't want these episodes going on too long. We, we will be back in March, I imagine. I'm hoping to get one more episode out maybe two more episodes before we fly to the uk so or uh uploaded anyway scheduled so that it will be hopefully a full week of videos this week um friday being the last one and then there'll be a delay until i'm back from the uk but we'll see how it goes yeah we'll be back sometime in march in in game march 2023 where well, hopefully we've broken the record for the massive points haul. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Leave me a like, give me a comment down below, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.